Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be installing this underhood LED kit for my Toyota 4Runner. Yoda Nation and Tech Off Road was kind enough to send me out this product so I can do a quick install video for you guys and show you guys some of the benefits of this mod. As you can see, my engine bay is very well lit and that is because of this 40 inch LED light strip. Now this is a completely optional mod, but if you're like me and you work on your vehicle a lot, visibility to certain areas of the engine is very difficult and having this light is very helpful. Another useful reason to have this light is if you're on the road or if you're out on the trail and it's dark out, you can light up the entire engine bay no matter where you are. This mod is super simple to do, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the parts and tools we're gonna need for this job. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the box. So you can see here it comes with a hood pin to basically turn off the light when the hood is closed. It also comes with zip ties and some zip tie mounts, which will be useful for the wiring. You can scan this QR code for some instructions on how to install this kit. This here is the 40 inch LED light strip. Yoda Nation says they've been sourcing these LEDs to make sure that they are actually high quality and work well under the engine bay. These are 50-50 LEDs and should output over 1300 lumens. And then it also comes with the wiring harness and you can see it's very simple. It's just a single eye terminal that you're gonna hook up to your battery. And then on this side, this is what hooks up to the hood pin switch, which is actually the ground. And then on the other side, hooks up to the LED itself. So it should be a relatively simple install. All right, these are all the tools you're gonna need for the job. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter to disconnect your battery so you can plug in the new harness. You'll need a set of 12 millimeters to actually install or tighten the hood pin switch. You can use some channel locks if you want to as well. You will need a drill since we will have to drill a new hole for that hood pin switch. And you're gonna need a set of drill bits that will get you up to 5 16 of an inch. I'm also gonna be using this painter's tape and also the center punch so that way I can get an accurate hole. Also what's not shown here is you will need something to clean your hood so that way the 3M tape can actually stick to it. So I would suggest some rubbing alcohol or just use some water if you can so that way you get better adhesion. Let's go ahead and get started with the job. All right guys, we got the hood open. Next step we're gonna do is we're gonna clean along this side here so we can get better adhesion. Just got some rubbing alcohol here. Let's go ahead and just clean that up. If you don't have rubbing alcohol, you can use brick cleaner as well. All right, we got everything cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and peel off the 3M tape. The instructions do suggest you put a piece of painter's tape along here to try to make it straight, but I don't really see where I'm gonna be able to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it by eye. So I'm just gonna peel off a little bit at a time and we're gonna line this up where we want it. Might be helpful to probably center this first before you stick it on. It doesn't have to be perfect. So right about there, it looks pretty decent. All right, so I got a little bit on there right now and then we're just gonna slowly peel away and stick the rest of this on there. There is a natural line on the hood right here so you can just follow that and make sure it's nice and straight. Alright guys, next step is to fish this wire over to here and we're going to run it behind the uh, insulator here. If you don't have this piece, you can just plug it in and use those zip ties that they provide. So I'm going to go ahead and just run it behind here. Okay, we'll go ahead and just plug it in. Alright, now we're going to run it all the way down to here and we're going to tuck it behind here. And if you're gentle, you should be able to get this back there without ripping this. Okay. Alright, so we got the wire tucked behind here and we're just going to go down to here. Alright, we're down here now and we're going to figure out what to do with this wire. But if you want to mimic what happens on the uh, windshield wiper fluid over there, it runs along over here and then it comes down. So if you want to do that, you can do that. There's also a flat spot here you can use. Basically, we're going to use one of those zip tie holders to hold this wire. Go ahead and clean it, prep one of these, and stick it on there. I'm gonna go ahead and run a zip tie through here. All right, now that we got that secured, next step is to run the wire to the battery. We're gonna run it along right behind the EVAP here. All right, guys, I was able to run the wire behind the EVAP here. If you need to take this apart, you can just do so with a 10 millimeter. 
but you're going to want the positive wire to be over here towards the battery side here because you're going to be connecting this. In my case, I'm not going to be connecting it to the battery. I'm going to be connecting it to my circuit breaker here. So if you have a battery, you can just do that. Make sure you disconnect the negative before you do any of this. And since I have a circuit breaker, I'm just going to disconnect the circuit breaker and then connect my line here. For the ground wire, make sure it goes towards the front here because we're going to be hooking it up to the hood pin switch right about here. All right, for this next step, you're going to want to drill a hole right around this area here. And I chose the flattest spot that's pretty centered because you don't want to drill too close to over here. Yoda Nation does provide instructions and some measurement ballparks, but I'm going to go ahead and just go with this hole right here. And we're going to drill that out to 5 16 of an inch and install our hood pin. I already center punched it and we're going to start with a small drill bit and work our way up. Make sure there's nothing behind here. There shouldn't be. All right, you guys, got my hole drilled out and it is a little close to this sheet metal here. Hopefully it won't be a problem. Basically, when you drop this in here with the nut on there, you want to make sure it still can turn. And mine doesn't really turn that much, which is going to be a slight problem, but I think it'll be OK. We'll make it work. So we're going to go ahead and install this now. You're going to want to leave one nut on here. So that way you have a jam nut and you're going to stick that in there. On the other side, you're going to have a washer, lock washer and a nut. And you're going to want to thread that in on the other side. All right, go ahead and tighten that up. And it's kind of a little tight for me because I have a bigger battery in here. But you can put a 12 millimeter in there and just tighten it up, hold the top. In my case, my sheet metal is holding the top, so I'll be able to tighten it a little bit easier here. One way to tighten this is I took a deep 12 and just angled it really extreme here and I'm able to tighten it here. All right, once this is all tight now, you can go ahead and connect the other end of the harness into this pin. But you can see how this operates. Basically when the hood's closed, it's going to disconnect the circuit so the light doesn't stay on in the vehicle. And then when it's open, it's going to connect the circuit or the ground here and basically make the light turn on automatically when you open the hood. All right, last step is to mount this switch. This will allow you to turn it off even though your hood is on in case you don't want it to drain your battery when you're working on your vehicle or whatever. This is a nice little added feature to bypass the hood pin here. So a nice spot is right here along the fender here. You're not going to have these rivet nuts in here. This was when I used to have relays along here. You should be able to just use this area here to mount that switch. So I've already cleaned it up and we're just going to mount the switch now. All right, at this point, we're pretty much all done with the job. So we're going to go ahead and reconnect the battery here, or if you disconnect the ground, you can reconnect everything now. All right, you guys, we're pretty much all done with the job here. I went ahead and buttoned up all the wiring and also zip tied this wire a little bit more securely. I also tested to make sure the hood closes without binding this wire and also tested my hood pin switch here as well. You can do that relatively easily. Just close your hood and push down on a little bit, make sure the light turns off so that way your battery doesn't get drained. Well guys, I want to thank Yoda Nation and Tech Off-Road for sending me this product again. They gave me a lot of different products to choose from and I wanted to choose products that I thought were useful to me and also my viewers, so this is the one I chose. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this mod every time I work on my engine. Well guys, I'll leave links down in the video description on where you can buy this kit and also all the tools we use in this video. I'll also leave a link to their install guide if you guys want to take a look at that as well. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you guys like content like this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. As always guys, have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next video.